Hello, I am Bitsuka and you are watching Bitsuka Waves. Today we're going to do a quick review of two Halo, yes, representing uh, Halo e liquids that I got in the mail. And uh, the liquids that we are going to review are Tribeca. This is a award award winning uh, tobacco flavored e liquid from Halo. Next up is the Belgian cocoa. Let's see how they wave. <laughs> to be fair, I bought this myself. I am not at that point right now where I'm getting free stuff to review. So all my reviews are just my thoughts and my thoughts alone and uh, no one's sponsoring anything so you can be sure of the, well, quality. Both of these liquids come in both standard and wheat type, which is high wheat tea. And the standard comes in 7ml, 10 and 30ml bottles, while the high wheat tea type comes in only 10ml and 30 so uh, the price would be for standard 7 milliliters would be 5.99 10 milliliters 8.49 and 30 would be 19.99 and the same price goes for the high wheat except 10 is 8.49 and the 30 is 19.99 and that's us dollars so i'm reviewing the high wheat which is 70 wheat 30 pg the standard is the opposites it's 70 pg and uh, 30 wheat and we're going to start off with the Tribeca. So the Tribeca, like I said, is an award-winning, uh, well, they state at least, it's an award-winning uh, Spine Fuel Choice Award winners, smooth tobacco notes. And it says here on the card, Tribeca combines an ultra-smooth tobacco base with a semi-sweet top note that is reminiscent, 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 yes, I'm not English. Go get over it. Reminiscent of RI4, which is basically the uh, main tobacco flavor that I wave, although I'm not the biggest fan of tobacco flavors, uh, and other treasured tobacco blends. With slight hint of vanilla and caramel, Tribeca Liquids delivers a solid throat hit and excellent vapor productions. And the available nicotine levels are vary from 0 to 24 in standard, but high witty only varies up to from 0 to 12 so 0 1.5 3 6 and 12 of course the main reason for that would be that you do not want to wave high nicotine on sub ohm and this is more focused on the sub ohm culture well as direct lung hits yes so in my opinion six milligrams in sub ohm is as high as you should, should go don't go any higher than that I mean people have gotten sick when they try to mix like 18-24 milligrams into a certain device. Don't recommend it. So yeah, let's dive right into it. Uh, the Tribeca. I only have the 10 milliliter bottles, but as you can see, they come nicely packaged in this box. You can see here, we type from Halo. And the box itself comes quite nicely uh, with... Uh, nicely labeled, as you might say. It says here, of course, I have the nicotine-free version, because uh, where I live, we cannot import nicotine liquids from the US. We are only allowed to import nicotine liquids from within the EU, the European Union states, uh, countries. It says here nicotine free, this product does not contain nicotine, so yeah, we can't adjust the nicotine content. This is the bottle, just a standard plastic bottle with the Halo logo and some nice information on the back here. and. It has this standard plastic bottle tip, and mm, the smell is really good. I've already put this in the tanks, so it's ready to wave, and let's see how it goes. I mean, mm, I'm not a fan of, like I said, the tobacco flavors, but this one smells quite nice. Okay, I have my Cool Fire Plus. 70 watt mod and I have the Halo reactor tank that I reviewed for my first review uh, I'm loving this by the way. It's a great little tank 
and hadn't had any problems with it so far but come on it's only been like two days but still both uh, the Tribeca will be in the Halo reactor tank and the Belgium Cocoa will be in my Kangaroo's mini sub-ohm tank uh, well Kangaroo sub -ohm tank and both are going to be fired at 40 watts and let's see how it works with full airflow open check it out mm. brilliant cloud production of course this is 70 VT so it d does a good job with clouds taste Yeah, smooth. Not a lot of throat hits. Of course, there's no nicotine. There's low VG, no, low PG, but it's smooth. It's uh, I can I can definitely taste a little bit of uh, vanilla and caramel, but it's not much. Yeah, definitely, definitely good tobacco flavor. Uh, I usually use RI4, but this one beats it beats it quite nicely. This is I'm I'm not going back to RI4 or the one I used, but never. Uh, this one is that good. Uh, if you are into tobacco flavors, I highly recommend testing this one out. Yeah, definitely, it's a good one. Halo did good there. Good job, good job. So the Tribeca. Definitely uh, should try that one, except of course if you hate tobacco flavors, but still, I mean, for $8.99, was it that? Yeah, $8.49, not that bad. Belgian Cocoa. This one, let's read a little bit about this one. The Belgian Cocoa. Our Belgian cocoa blend offers a desadent flavor backed by a solid throat hit and a great vapor production with dried cocoa, undertones and a sweet chocolate top note. This well-balanced Ilwigit blend makes the perfect all-day vape. Okay. It's the same deal with that one, I believe. Compared to nicotine, yes, it's all the way 0 to 12 with high VT and uh, to up to 24 with the standard. Of course, we use the high Ouija here. Same packaging, and only difference is that this one is brown, the other one was clear. And let's take a little sniff here. Nice. Yeah. Definitely Coco. <laughs> Definitely. So, let's see how this one. Waves on the Kanger 40 watts. I have the uh, 0.5 ohm coil, it can go up to 60 watts, but yeah, 40 watts is the sweet spot for this one, I think, at least for now. So, wave on. Yep, same good cloud production. Oh, nice. Mm. Mm. This reminds me of a basically like a chocolate that we can buy in the store here. It's. Mm. Yeah. This is an all-day waiver. I don't think you can get sick of this. It's like, it's smooth. It's not overwhelming chocolate. It's just smooth chocolate feeling. Cocoa chocolate mix. Smells like, you know, when you um, uh, put chocolate in a pottery and melt it or a cake I don't know it's like 
loving it. Brilliant club production. And yeah. The winner by far is Belgian Kogo. This one is not bad. This one is quite good. Belgian Kogo beats it to the pants brilliantly. So if you're going to pick between the two, I don't know why you steal it because it's totally different flavors. But if you're going to pick, uh, if you have to pick one of the two, in my opinion, of course, I would recommend the Coco, Belgian Coco. Mm, I'm loving this. Very smooth. Not any thoughted, of course. I don't. I have the high wheat. Yeah, I don't have any nicknames, like as stated before. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as always, <laughs> as always, like I say, I, I, I'm, I'm acting like a big YouTube star, woo! But no, I'm not a big YouTube star, of course, I'm just starting out. I, you might re notice that the video quality is a little bit better now, but mm, it's because last time I used this uh, camera recorder here, uh, Samsung old one I bought like a few years ago, it didn't do quite nicely somewhere. It's high definition like four years ago, so... Yeah. Uh, this one is recorded uh, on my LG G3 front camera, by the way, so <laughs> might try the back reverse camera next time, I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, you can hit the subscribe button somewhere over there, yes. And uh, the like button and comment and uh, hit me up on Twitter and stuff like that. But uh, I will be throwing up a lot of review videos for the stuff I have lined up here uh, in the upcoming days. And uh, I will do my best to post a video at least once or twice a week. I get a lot of uh, web equipment in. So, because, well, uh, I love it. I love webbing. So, yeah, happy webbing. Peace out. Drop and party.